I gotta tell you guys, I am having so much fun learning about WLED and its capabilities. And I'm gonna show you a feature that is really awesome. This is if you have two different LED features somewhere in your room or in your house or whatever, and you want to change the setting on one, but have it mirrored onto the other one. And that's what I'm doing right here. I am actually setting the uh, effect on this one, but it's mirroring it onto this one. I'm gonna show you how I did that using out of the box WLED coming up. All right, what's up everybody? Today I am going to demystify another feature of WLED that is syncing between two devices. And the scenario here is let's say you've got two different strings on different sides of your room maybe different parts of your kitchen, whatever, and you want them to do the same effect at the same time. You can do that with WLED. And I have here two Node MCUs. They are both configured exactly the same way. And you can see I put a 53 on here. That is the IP address of that one. And this one is 118. And you can see that represents the, the two browser windows that I have open on my screen here. 53 and 118 and so the one on the left is the one that I am controlling with this one you can see I will turn it red and orange and whatever so I've got that one working there and on this side I've got a, a number of presets already set up with uh, just a couple of things here so you can see that's just a red green chase I want to go into the config and when I go into sync interfaces in here, it has eight sync groups, and you can see send and receive. Now, by default, the checkboxes under one are both checked, which means that you could take control of multiple devices. You can actually put things into groups. If you put devices in the same group, they will be controlled. So let's see if we go into sync interfaces over here. Now, I don't want to use one because I have other things in the house that are on one. So I'm going to turn off one. I'm just going to use eight. And I'm going to, on 53, I'm going to make that one what I'll call the, the master. And the other one would be the slave, which means that this one is going to mirror whatever the um, 118 is going to mirror whatever 53 does. All right, now when I set this button, when I click sync on here, what it will do is whenever I make a color change, it will synchronize that change to the other one. So let's try that. And you can see exact same thing, whatever color goes over there. All right, so I have 53 set to a blue and yellow chase which it sets the same exact thing to the other one. Now, one thing I want to point out, which is subtle, but you can see this last LED right here is off. There's a reason for that. Because I set this, this segment is stopping at 30, even though there's 50 lights on this string. And I did that on purpose, so that is a short segment. It's configured for a 50 light string, but my segment is only 30 lights. So only the first 30 lights light up. So that one, that's why that one is off. Now this is the last light on the other one. And over here you can see, if I go into my segments here, this segment is 50. Even though the segments are different sizes, whatever the effect is on this segment is what will come over onto this segment. Now, if I come into my configuration settings over here to sync interfaces, you'll see here it says receive, brightness, color, and effects. Segment options and bounds are not checked. So what happens if we check those? Let's save it. All right, now when I come back over here, let me go to one of my presets. I'm gonna just call this, I'm just gonna go to green, okay? Notice I have green over here but that last LED is not lit. Now, why is that? Well, that's because it mirrored the segments as well. Now I only have a 30, you know, one segment that's 30. Now, if I come over here, I have another preset called two segments. And there you can see I have that last LED is lit. And so is that last LED is lit. Because guess what? It created two segments here. I hope I'm not confusing you, but this is somewhat confusing. <laughs> 
All right, so let's go back to Candy Cane. And here you can see I only have one segment, and it's a short segment. Same thing over here. That last LED is not lit. So remember that. If you want segments to synchronize, you have to put that in here. Now, I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to come over here. I have a preset that has two segments in it, okay? And you can see, uh, let me go to the pre the segments. If I turn off this segment, you can see just the one segment has a chase effect with red and green. The second segment is the one that is solid blue. All right, now you need to know that. Now, when I come over here and I say I want this to be green, it only changes that second segment. Now, why did it change the second segment when there's only one segment over here? Well, because this is the one that I had checked. See the check mark right here? So it synchronized that setting. So let me undo that. Let me come back in here. Now I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to check this one and uncheck that one. Now come into this preset here. I'm going to make this one red. And you can see only the first segment is the one that became red because that's the one with the check mark. Now, what does this say? Syncing is tricky. That's really what I'll, what I'll say. <laughs> what I really thought would happen is if I selected preset one here, that it would also go preset one over here to whatever that preset is. And they don't necessarily have to be the exact same thing, but that's not the way sync works. Now, if you do want to synchronize based on presets so that they both you use a certain preset, preset number one, on both of them at the same time. You can't do that with the sync button. But what you can do, there's this API called the JSON API. And this is the, the knowledge, um, I guess it's a wiki, for WLED. And some of this is kind of confusing, but uh, I have kind of boiled some of it down so that it's not so hard to to understand that if you want to, all right, I'm gonna take this. All right, I'm on my Mac and I opened up a terminal window. That's what this is here. And what I have is I have a, I can use this curl command and it sets, it sends a, a post command to this address. Now you can see this is my IP address here, the 118, which is for this string right here. And what I'm sending it is I'm sending it a toggle of the on command, okay? So it's basically saying toggle the on state. And when I click enter on that, you can see it goes off. And if I do it again, you can see it goes on. If I pull this out of the way, let's see. If we look here, I can see preset is the ID of the preset that I want to play. So I can do the same kind of thing. So I have preset one is the command, the data that I'm actually going to send it. And when I do that, you can see preset one comes on here. And if I do it again, I can change that to preset two. And the same thing goes on there. Now, well, let me try the same thing with my 53. All right, now it set it to green. But if you recall, I have to turn the sync interface off here. Now let me try that again. I'm going to tell this go one. We'll go back to 118 and have that one play one. There. Now I have both of these set programmatically to preset one. And I can use Home Assistant or I can use some other computer to do that if I needed to. The point here is that you can use the API to set the same preset numbers or different preset numbers, depending upon, you know, it's almost like you're creating a light show. But for whatever reason, if you want to, you can have it so that um, you click a button in your house, let's say, and it, it does your presets the way that you want them to. Was that cool or is that cool? I think it is. The documentation on WLED is not always the best. So that's why I put this little video together to explain how it works. Hopefully it helped you. If you have any questions, just write them down in the comment below and I will get back to you. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.
If you are a DIY video creator struggling to find an audience, join Handy Dad TV and get instant access to an established audience that will provide more views and income than you're getting on your own. Just go to handydad.tv join for more information.